Hey guys, so on my stream last night, the topic of what the best class for new players came up. And of course, we got the usual suggestions like Aeromancer, Sharpshooter, Supports, or even a Glaivir if you're looking to challenge yourself a little bit more. And yeah, those are all good options for new players. But one suggestion of Evolution Scouter and Demonic Shadow Hunter came up. And I would say that in the past, those were definitely suggested by a lot of people as very beginner friendly classes and would recommend people make those classes at their, as their first classes. But I would say these days, these classes are actually the least suggested classes for me for a new player. And here's why. Well, you know, it isn't perfect. Smilegate has done a lot to improve the new player experience. From the Super Makoko Express to the upcoming Horizontal Express, which by the way, if you haven't seen my video on what the Horizontal Express brings, I'm going to link it up on the top left. Um, but Smilegate has been doing a lot to help the new players catch up to the current content pretty quickly. And I would argue that one of the best things that they've done for the Super Makoko Express is not the 5-3 by 5 or 3 engravings, but actually it's the full set of level seven and some level eight gems that they give you in as a part of that express. Those gems are so nice for both new players and also end game players because gems are one of the most expensive barriers to entry for anybody playing the game. And this is actually one of the reasons why people have said in the past that Evo Scouter and Demonic Shadow Hunter are some of the cheapest classes to play because they only need two gems. They only need one damage gem and one cooldown gem. So wait, if that's the case, why wouldn't you recommend these classes for new players? Isn't it better for new players to play a cheaper class since they have less resources to start off with? Well, the problem is that it's not quite that simple. You see, most new players, when they're coming into Lost Ark, they're probably going to be making their first character using the Super Makoko Express and also the Power Pass that they get, right? So they're going to get those free gems that I talked about before, the level 7 gems and the level 8 gems, which is wonderful. It's great. This is great for every single class except the Demonic Shadow Hunter and the Evo Scouter because the highest level gems that the Express gives are level 8s. And while that's wonderful for most characters in the game and will probably be fine for them all the way up to, let's say, even normal Voldus at 1600 item level, that's not quite the case for Demonic Shadow Hunter and Evo Scouter. Take a look at this image right here. This is my 1600, well, 1595 uh, Knight's Edge Soul Eater that went through the Makoko Express and the Path of Soul Eater. It has full level 7s and some level 8 gems. I would say that if I'm looking at somebody with this setup for or with all this Hardicon, I'd likely accept them, you know, if they have everything else correct, of course. Um, now, let's take a look at this image right here. This is a demonic shadow hunter that is on the Makoko Express. Now, would you take this shadow hunter into your 1600 plus lobby? I think most people would say no. And that's because the requirements for a Demonic Shadow Hunter and an Evo Scouter are different than those of the other classes in terms of their gems. Take a look at this graph right here. This is what I would say is the minimum requirements for gems for people to not get gate kept based on item level. And this is what I'm saying, the bare minimum, right? Some people are going to put this as a higher requirement. Some people are going to have a lower requirement. But for the most part, I'd say most people are going to have this as their bare minimum. This is what the look graph looks like for most classes. Okay. Now this is what the graph looks like for a demonic shadow hunter and an evil scouter or an evil scouter. As you can see, the requirements in terms of gem level really doesn't line up at all with what the super Makoko express gives you. And as a result, you are forced to go and buy those expensive gems, which can cost upwards of a million gold, at least in NOE West, just to net not get gate kept. Something that people don't understand in this game is that while level 10s are a luxury for most classes in the game, even all the way up to, I'd say 1620, right? The highest level content, hard boldest at the moment, rather than being a luxury, 
Level 10 gems are actually a requirement to even get through the door for classes like DI Shadow Hunter and Evo Scouter, starting at content as early as normal Akan. And I think that's even being generous. I think some people would honestly gatekeep you for an even hard brawl at 1560 if you didn't have level 10 gems on those classes. So that's why those two classes, in my opinion, are not good classes to play when you're a new player trying out Lost Ark. Having said that, I know there's a good number of people who are watching this video who do want to play Transformation Scouter or Transformation Shadow Hunter. And to that, I would say, I would recommend you try to find a group of friends who won't gatekeep you based on your gems for the content. Because even though it, I say it's a requirement to have level 10 gems, you can definitely clear without having the level 10 gems. But it's just that when you go out into the public, when you're playing pugs, playing with random people, they're 100% going to gatekeep you based on not having those level 10 gems. I would also recommend in addition to that, if you're willing to kind of be a little bit flexible about what your definition of a transformation class is, I'd recommend you play a class like Barrage Artillerist, which in many ways is similar to those other transformation classes, but the pressure to have a level 10 Barrage Gem is much lower than that of a DI Shadow Hunter or an Evo Scouter. So yeah, hopefully you guys learned something in this video. Hopefully it makes sense what I'm saying. Let me know down in the comments below if you play one of those classes and what your experience is. If you either have level 10 gems or don't have level 10 gems, have you made a scouter or a shadow hunter with your Super Mario Coco Express? What ended up happening? Do you get gate kept? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also I stream on twitch.tv slash miso every single night starting at 10 p.m. PST. So hopefully I see y'all on my stream, but if not, hopefully I see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.